Padres hosting the Royals, and the Padres are minus 210 on the money line. The Royals are plus 175. Over under is at nine runs. The Royals getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 110, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. And the Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are minus 110 as well, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win by two. And it's probably because of this pitching matchup, because if you look at their stats, it's pretty much identical when you're looking kind of just closely at it. Now, Keller did pitch twice against the Padres. Both of the games were in relief. A third of an inning, one run, one earned. They lost 13 to five. Two thirds of an inning, no runs, no earned. They won 15 to seven. Both of those games were in Kansas City. And Waka pitched once against the Royals last year. It was a member of the Red Sox. Seven innings, one run, one earned. They won that game two to one. Now, the Royals are four and four as a team with Keller on the mound. He's averaging 4.2 innings pitched per game and 3.6 strikeouts per game in those games. The Padres are 5-2 as a team with Waka on the mound. He's averaging 5 and a third innings pitched and 4.3 strikeouts per game in those games. Head-to-head, the road team is 6-4. These teams are 5-5 against each other in their last 10. The favorite is 5-5 on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. The over is 7-3. The over 9 is 5-4-1. And And there have been two one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The last series they played was last year. It was a three-game set in Kansas City. The Padres won 13-5, 4-3, and then the Royals won the last game 15-7. In their last handful of games overall, the Royals are 1-3 in their last four and 4-6 four and in their last ten. Seven runs, six runs, seven runs, 15 runs, four runs and a win. That was against the White Sox, and they got swept in a three-game series against the Brewers. One run and a loss, three runs and a loss, six runs and a loss. For the Padres, they have not been doing very good lately. They got buzzsawed by the Twins and the Dodgers. They are on a five-game losing streak right now, and they are 3-7 and seven in their last ten. We've had... Eight runs, six runs, six runs, and four runs. Three runs and a loss, two runs and a loss, two runs and a loss, a shutout and a loss. I think they bounce back against one of the worst teams in baseball. I'm going to take the Padres with the money line. I'm going to take the Padres laying the runs. I am a little concerned about the over-under because the Padres haven't been scoring. But yet again, this is the Royals, so I do expect some offense from the Padres. So I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.